everyone, it's Stephanie Bourbon and I am back and I wanted to talk to you guys about book coaching because I am working as a book coach now as well as helping TV writers and screenwriters and helping writers in general work on their query letters and their pitches. And I have a few uh, specific classes like one for romantic comedy and one for finishing your novel in 30 days. So I have added officially book coaching to my coaching services. So I want to just give you a little insight to what that means and how I can help you or other coaches like me. So what does it mean when you hire a book coach? Well, basically a book coach is somebody who can help you with all stages of your writing. A book coach is not the same as hiring a line editor, a copy editor, or a developmental editor. Though I believe that developmental edits and book coaching are very similar. I do a lot of developmental editing within my book coaching because I help a lot of writers who already have a first, second, or third draft done and maybe they're stuck or they're getting rejected and so they come to me to help them with the story. A developmental editor really helps you develop your story, okay? And again, just like every other kind of coach and editing and everything, every developmental editor is going to do things slightly different. That's just the nature of the beat. So what I want to point out is that the first thing I want to point out, number one, is that not all coaches are the same. Unfortunately, we live in a world where a lot of people, especially writers, especially writers who are on the newest side, and there's nothing wrong with being new. We were all new until we weren't, and none of us knew this stuff until we did. So don't feel bad if you're new and you're watching this, but it's really important that you know that every coach is different and every coach is going to have their own style and their way of coaching. So the best thing that I can recommend that you do if you are looking at hiring a book coach is not to only focus on the prices, because when you do that, you might you know, see somebody who has a super low price, but maybe they don't work the way that you want to work. Or maybe you do, you know, you spend a lot of money and then you think that they're going to be a certain way because you've spent that money. A lot of us create our prices based on the years of experience that we have, based on our knowledge, based on the time it takes us, based on, there's so many different factors when it comes to pricing that unfortunately one size doesn't fit all. So you really have to find a way to understand if that coach is right for you. So what I do is I offer a free consultation to everybody who I'm even thinking about working with. And on my website, I no longer have where you can just pay for it and then send me, uh, I used to have so you could pay for it and then a discovery form would go to you and then you filled it out. Now you have to actually send me an email and we have to get on a call. I need to make sure that we are gonna work well together. Again, the first tip that I'm gonna give you is just to understand that not all coaches work in the same way. And the second tip that I'm going to give you is to really research your coach and or talk to her or him on either Zoom or on the phone. You can do it through email if you like. That's up to you and the coach, the potential coach, and really understand if you guys are going to work well together. The next thing I'm going to say is that your book coach is not your counselor. Your book coach is not your therapist. Now, every single one of us has problems that come up in our life and that's fine. I usually build a relationship with those who I'm coaching. There are people that I'm friends with who I coached back in 2008 and we still talk and we're social media friends and that's how we stay connected. But that doesn't mean that I am actually their therapist. If I say like, Oh, how's it going this week? Or how are you feeling? And then they tell me about all the stuff that happened. That's fine. But what I'm talking about is when you are starting to put everything on your book coach, that is not in the job description. So please be mindful of why you hired this person. They are your coach, not your therapist. The next thing that I want to bring up is that book coaching is not black and white. It's not you get this, this, and this because the reason it's not black and white is because when you get into the, the nuts and bolts of your story, you might need to change things that you didn't know you needed to change when you started it. So it's really, really important that you are open-minded and you are able to be fluid with your coach. Your coach is there to help you write the best story, which leads me directly to my next point is that the coach is not going to write the story for you. 
yes i have had clients in tv writing screenwriting and book coaching who are like well can you just fix it for me no what i do is i ask you questions and i give you suggestions so you can find the best solution i am your coach think of a teacher in school or think of a coach for athletics the coach isn't actually on like this everyone's watching ted lasso so the coach is not actually on the soccer field scoring those goals right ted lasso is coaching his players so they can be the best that they can be and then work within a team because that happens to be a team sport in this what we are doing is coaching you to be the best that you can be and put out the best story that you can be that you can write put out the best story that you can write the next thing that i'm going to say is please do not hire a book coach and expect to get that money back immediately a book coach any kind of story coach tv writing screenwriting book coaching cannot guarantee that you are going to sell your work and make a lot of money anybody who is promising you this honestly i i would run in the other direction because there's no way to guarantee sales it's just this business is subjective stories are subjective what people like what people don't like what people are buying what the industry is doing things going on in the outside world please don't have the expectations that hey if i pay this book coach this much money i better get this much money back because it's not realistic okay i just i really want you guys to understand that that you are hiring your story coach or your line editor your developmental editor whatever because they are giving you something that you can't get on your own and you can't get it through courses which is why it's important but there may not be i'm just being honest there might not be a monetary return directly correlated with that what we are helping you do is write the best story if you get a degree in creative writing there's no college that has that that then guarantees you're going to end up on the new york times bestseller list with your book in every airport all over the world it just isn't a thing but yet you're spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to learn how to do creative writing in a very certain style and in a way that makes you a better writer think of your book coach as the same thing now some book coaches i happen to be one of them will also work with you on career stuff but i cannot promise you that it will get you monetary rewards i wish that i could and you know what if i could i'd be the richest woman in the world if there was a way that i could do that but unfortunately i cannot so please be aware of that the next thing that i want to talk to you about is your book coach does not need to be a famous author this is something that is so frustrating to me but i do understand when you're new but i see in all these groups on social media where people are like they want how much well they better be a famous author it's ridiculous people can be really really amazing coaches without being famous and also remember what i just said about money and fame it's very very hard to achieve as a writer there are writers that have reached that i have friends that that make a ton of money and that are amazing at marketing and their stuff hit at the right time or they got you know the really great deals with the big publishing houses so their books are front facing at barnes and noble which are more likely to sell than the ones that aren't there's so many factors that go into someone being quote unquote famous you can work as a writer your entire life and never reach fame i am one of those people i've been working as a professional writer for 30 years now i am not famous now i'm not saying this to defend myself i'm saying this in general when you are looking at book coaches them being an author or being a famous author has nothing to do with them being able to help you coach it really really is just like a sports team you can be an amazing book coach if you know a lot about story and you know how to help people with their stories and aspects of their writing that's all it takes well and you know like i personally went through a certification thing for book coaching as well as training for editing and developmental edits and story and i've been doing this for a really really long time like story is a part of who i am it's something that i'm really good at but i've also been working in the film industry my entire adult life and i'm not 22 so there's been a lot of years and i've been working as a coach since 2008 so i know my stuff even though i haven't reached fame yet yet i say yeah because you never know you never know that's the thing about this business and the last thing that i want to say but please watch to the end of the video is that that's it you never know what's going to happen in this business so when you hire your coach whether again it's for tv writing or screenwriting or your book coach please know that you are hiring them for a specific service talk to them 
see what they're going to help you with. I have packages that go from, I help people with their sort of the beginning of the book and plotting out the book and getting the book ready. That is one of my packages. And then I also have a whole novel package, which is usually after the novel is written. Sometimes my clients who work with me at the beginning roll over to the, the bigger package, which is the whole novel package. And then I also have a pitch package to help people pitch because it's something that I'm good at. It's something that I know a lot about, but again, I absolutely cannot and will not guarantee that you will get an agent or you will sell your book. I wish that I could, but I can't. I hope that this, helps you. There are links in the descriptions about book coaches and also to my own personal site. If you are thinking about getting a book coach, I will tell you right now, I am coaching female authors who write contemporary romance, romantic comedy, women's fiction, like on the lighter side. So not like the gone girl type thriller type books, but the happier hallmarky type fun romance, uh, light romance books. But I know so many book coaches who coach in every single aspect. So if you don't know where to start and you're thinking about getting a coach, feel free to send me an email at stephanie at stephaniebourbon.com and say, I'm looking for a book coach and I will talk to you. And if we're not a fit, which we might not be, I will send you to somebody else. I absolutely, even though I obviously charge for this and it's, it's my business, I absolutely don't just hire, don't take clients on just to take clients to make money. I'm really passionate about this. And so I really want to work with clients in a very specific area, but there are so many other coaches who I know who are brilliant that I can uh, send you to. So thank you for watching and have an amazing rest of your week. I'm so happy that you are here and I'm working on getting my videos weekly, but don't worry, I am doing better. I've just been very busy right now. So thank you again and have a brilliant day and happy writing.